Hello viewers and welcome to today's video where I have received my second box of flowers from Bloomsy Box. If you guys watched my first video, you see that things started off well, but my flowers died after only a few days. So they sent me a replacement box. So thank you Bloomsy Box for that. And hopefully I can keep these ones alive a little bit longer. So let's see what we got. Okay, so I took them out of the box so it has this lovely brown paper on it and this beautiful red ribbon and this time I got roses instead of daisies which they look perfect for Valentine's Day which was just a few days ago but by the time you guys watch this it'll probably have been a couple weeks ago <laughs> that's because I want to show every few days how the flowers are doing the first box that I got did not have this little care card in it I think that's where I went wrong. So it just has a few notes on here. And it also says that these flowers are Rainforest Alliance certified. And it explains what that means there. And then they also come with like a little packet of flower food like you get with any regular flowers. So let's untie these bad boys. And the first thing that I noticed when I opened the box was the smell. The daisies didn't really have a smell. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I definitely noticed a nice scent out of these. Aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. I don't want anything to happen to them. So I got, I think I have about 18 here. I don't think it's a full two dozen. I will update you guys in a couple of days. I'm so excited. These are so beautiful. Please last longer. <laughs> okay, viewers, we are on day five of the roses and they have bloomed a little bit. I'm not sure if you're able to tell the difference from earlier in the video, which was when I first got them, but they are so beautiful. They smell good and I have not changed out the water <laughs> since I first put them in the vase. So I trimmed about an inch off the stems diagonally on each rose before I put it in the vase and I filled the water less than halfway. So they seem to be doing good. So I'm just going to leave them like that and hopefully I won't have any problems because I haven't had, yeah, there's none of them, none of them are wilting. So they're doing really good right now. So hopefully we can continue that because they're really nice roses. And the stems were really thick on them. They were actually kind of hard to cut because of that. But that tells me that they are higher quality roses. So I will see you guys in a few more days to give you an update. Okay, so we are on day eight of the roses. And they're starting to turn a little here. They were still doing pretty good um, yesterday. But this morning I noticed that they're, um, the petals are starting to turn. So yesterday I'd put a little bit of water in there. I didn't switch out the water, I just added some of the water that has been used up by the roses. And I did not cut the stems because last time what I did was I did the right thing or what I thought was the right thing, which was I switched out the water and I cut the stems after they had been in the water for a couple of days. And then as soon as I did that, the daisies died. So this time I decided that as long as they looked fine, I was gonna leave it alone. So it actually worked out pretty well. Bloomsy Box actually contacted me a couple of days ago to see how the flowers are doing. And they had also suggested that I switch out the water and cut the stems every couple of days. And so I think since they're starting to turn, it might be already a little too late, but I'm gonna try to cut the stems and see if that helps them at all a little bit. I also opened up one of the blinds to let a little bit of sunlight in to see if that would help. So I will let you guys know what happens. We are on day 12 now and the roses are sadly gone. About two to three days ago, they had already started curling on the outside. So I changed up the water, put a little bit more food in there and cut the stems um, a little bit, but I think they were already kind of goners by then. So it's I don't really feel like either leaving them or changing out the water was really going to help by that point, but they lasted a little 
longer than a week this time. So I think that's pretty decent. I've definitely paid more for flowers before that didn't last that long. And they're higher quality flowers too. I had already canceled my subscription after the first box and I probably won't do a subscription again, but if there's a special occasion or if I just feel like treating myself, then I'll probably just buy a one-time arrangement because I'm happy with the quality of them. It's just not something that I'm going to pay for every month. But anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. I did enjoy my beautiful roses while they lasted. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.